So let me introduce uh, Yoshio Shirakawa uh, first. So Shirakawa studied art and philosophy in France and Germany during the 1970s. And then in 1980s, he returned to Japan and settled in Guma, which is um, away from Tokyo, a regional city. Um, um, and Shirakawa's practice has been focused on regeneration and revaluation of regional histories, cultures, and economies. And his practice is regarded as a precursor to today's multiculturalist and participatory practices in Japan. And he has also authorized numerous writing on contemporary art history, uh, constantly developing criticism and revaluation of the dominant historical views and discourses. We're also very grateful for Dr. Yoshitaka Mori and Dr. Jessica Holtway to spare uh, their busy scheduled time uh, today to join us. And again, I'm gonna give you a very brief uh, um, introduction of Dr. Mori. Uh, Dr. Mori is actually uh, one of the co-founders of Art Action UK. In fact, he is the instigator of Art Action UK. Um, and he's well-known sociologist, cultural commentator, and writer based in Tokyo. He's also professor of Graduate School of Global Arts at Tokyo University of Arts. And his current research include pre, -post pre and post uh, Olympic studies towards new theories of media culture in the post media era. And comparative study for creative industries in UK and Japan and political public sphere and nationalism in age of digital media. And his recent papers include lukewarm nationalism, the 2020 uh, Japanese sociology, uh, uh, Tokyo Olympics, and social media and affected uh, communities, which is published in International Journal of Japanese Sociology, 2019. And the tools, a new theory, um, which is also published in um, Design, Designing Media Ecology, 2018, and new collectivism, Participation and Politics After the East Japan Great Earthquake. Well, that, um, that was published in Rotridge and, to, um, and Taylor and Francis, 2015. And another guest we are honored to have is Dr. Jessica Holtway. And she's been um, closely associated with Art Action UK and she, she's a lecturer at Solent University. And, and her research centers on politically engaged artworks and performances. And her book, World Forming Contemporary Art, uh, was published earlier this year by uh, Rutledge and explores performances, curatorial practices, and institutional practice through reflection on philosophy of John Luc Nancy. Um, unfortunately, he uh, passed away very recently didn't he? So today, uh, Dr. Holtway is going to act as a chair of this discussion, and I am going to act as going between person, and we'll try to close the language gap as much as I can. Though I'm not a professional interpreter, so it won't be a spontaneous word-to-word -word interpretation, but so please uh, bear with me. So from here, um, I'd like Dr. Holtway to take over, um, and thank you very much. Thank you for the introduction, Kauri. Um, first of all, to introduce the panel discussion today, I'd like to provide a brief context, um, which I'm sure that each speaker will add to and refine. So the matter of what we collectively remember and what we collectively forget shapes cultures, attitudes, ultimately shaping our future and the futures of generations to come. And here in the UK, you uh, might be familiar with continued debates around who, or what is memorialized in public art. Um, a notable example is um, the statue of slave trader Edward Colston in Bristol, which was pulled down by a large group of people last summer in protest of this glorification of an individual who um, had profited from the enslavement of others. Today though, we're gonna be focusing on how international events, in particular, the Olympic games, impact the creation and control of collective memories. I'd like to say a little bit more about that, but. Um, I might pause for a moment in case that's helpful, Kauri, if you're, shall I carry on or? I am doing the interpretation um, to um, Yoshio. And um, so they, I'm hoping oh, I that most of the people could actually follow. Yeah, 
Great, uh, thank you. And when um, Yoshio speaks, I will communicate that, that back into. I understand. Uh, yeah, sorry, I misunderstood Ali. Um, sorry to interrupt. So um, today we're going to focus on the Olympic Games and how that has impacted the control of collective memories. So as you know, this year, the Olympic Games was held in Japan. It was scheduled for 2020, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it meant that it took place in July and August of 2021. And although international viewers couldn't travel to watch the Olympics at the, at the stadium, global attention was still focused on Japan. Academic researchers, Mike Featherstone and Tomoko Tamari in their introduction to a special edition of the International Journal of Japanese Sociology, which Carrie mentioned actually just now, um, it's um, in this special edition was entitled The Olympic Games in Japan and East Asia, Images and Legacies. And they discuss, and I'll just quote, the Olympic Games can in particular be seen as a site in which the complex processes of the interconnectedness between cultural values and contested political, national and economic interests are played out, uh, unquote. And they look at the agendas um, that have gone along with this, for example, gentrification, links to neoliberal reconstruction projects in the wake of the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and nuclear disaster. So with this context in mind, with this social political context in mind, I'd first like to invite artist Yoshio Shirakawa to discuss his current solo exhibition at Maruki Gallery in Tokyo, which reflects on the Asia Pacific War and the atomic bombs that were dropped in Japan in 1945. Uh, Shirakawa-san, please could you tell us more about your exhibition and perhaps comment on why it's so important to think about collective memory now? えっと、ま、マルキー美術館、ま、今回あの uh, for, for about three years, um, mm. we have been uh, discussing with the curators of Maruki Gallery to um, uh, hold the exhibition um, focusing on the issues of South um, Southeast A A Asia Pacific War. Yes. あの、ここのマルキビジス館はあの原爆の図があったりして、ま、俗に言うまそういう、いや、マルキ Gallery is uh, famous for uh, Hiroshima panel and it focuses on um, the issues to do with war. で、私は今の時点であの戦争についての もうあるけれど戦争についての考え方、え、それが今日本の中で問題になっていると思うので、ま、歴史修正主義ですよね。そのことを取り上げる作品を作りたいなと思って、え、今回は出し、それをテーマに書きました。yeah, so my intention was um, in current uh, Japanese uh, situations, the um, the discussion about the uh, Second World War, particularly, um, does take place. You know, but um, the um, perception of it or the understanding of it, the context, um, there there are uh, various issues, and particularly to do with Rekishi uh, Shusei Shugi, which is um, revisionist you know, historical perspective. Um, and I wanted to um, highlight those you know, problems. まあ、どうしてかというと、まあ、あの、今の日本の、まあ、社会の中というか、まあ、で、その歴史修正主義の考え方の人たちが え、
、えー、まあそういうところのかなりトップクラスのねところにいる人たちの多くが歴史修正主義的な考え方、えー、で、えー、を共有している人たちがあの日本の上の方にい,いるまあ、現状が非常に危ないなというふうに私は今考えています。Yeah. And I am very concerned、um, the fact that current Japan,、uh, the, the situation is,、uh, the reason why I wanted to do this exhibition is because I'm concerned about the situation where、uh, at the top level of you know, government,、um, there many people hold s this revisionist historical perspective. And I do consider that is a very dangerous、uh, situation. <笑>どどいいですかまあ、そ,そういう,そう,いう,こう、えー、一種の、まあ、危機感を感じて作品を今回作りました。はい。So that was my intention to do,、uh, to make those artwork to、um, yeah, problematize and to you know, highlight the issues.Thank you,、um, Shirakawa san.So important to critically engage with the way in which history is recorded and communicated because that has such an impact on How we understand the present as it unfolds.、Um, and of course, the Olympic Games has intensified some of these issues.、Um, so I'd like to、um, ask Professor Mori a question now.、Um, Professor Mori, your research into the Olympics also, was also featured in the special edition of the International Journal of Japanese Sociology. And one of the things that you spotlight in your research is the extensive use of social media alongside the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Could this perhaps lead to an increased management of cultural, of collective cultural narratives?、Um, I wonder if you could tell us more about the political situation and issues relating to the Olympics. Okay,、um, first of all, thank you, thank you for inviting me to this、uh, session. And,、uh, and it's nice to discuss the、uh, issue around Olympics in relation to culture and art, nationalism. And,、uh, and thank you for the question. I think this is very Uh, important topic because,、uh, uh, you know, originally when we started to use a、uh, uh, social media like internet,、uh, we thought, well, it could be, you know,、uh, democratic too to communicate each other. And also it could be a sort of good,、uh, you know,、uh, counter, counter mass media. Maybe we, we could use the media、uh, as a sort of、uh, send out message. Right? We could send a message directly to anyone. So, this was the original you know, sort of enthusiasm we had. But、uh, what's happening now is that、uh, you know, uh, social media is not really for the、uh, democratic、uh, means. It's uh, probably uh, right wing people, conservative people,、uh, or though even those who have money can control social media much better than people. Like us. And uh, uh, the, the situation around the social media, if you look at Twitter s or、uh, you know,、uh, Facebook or any other media, you could see a lot of, lot of nasty hate speech, racism, sexism, blah, blah. So I think that、uh, social media is now a place to create antagonism or even conservative discourses a lot. And, And the Olympic is a bit complicated because, uh, uh, you know,、um, for instance, kind of, you know, probably the,、uh, the idea of Olympic, 2020 Olympic,、uh, the Tokyo Olympic wanted to make Olympic more diverse, try to invite more different people. And uh, well, the, uh, one of the examples could be sort of the、uh, Zaharito architecture project. Uh, the Japanese government actually invites Zaha Adito to be architect, architect of an、uh, Olympic stadium, but eventually it was cancelled.、Uh, and、uh, then, you know, the, these sort of, you know, Olympic Games was, was supposed to be a sort of global、uh, event. But what happened in Tokyo, it looks like global still. Okay, the Olympic Games invite Osaka Daomi. As a sort of,、uh, sort of symbolic figure in the Tokyo Olympics, or maybe、uh, Hachimura Rai,、uh, who, are, who is very、uh, active in the 
uh, US as a basketball player, as a sort of key figure in the Japanese team. But at the same time, if you look at the social media, you could see a lot of, lot of nasty criticism of particularly racist criticism of these sort of athletes or any other thing. So I think, you know, the situation is really uh, difficult at this moment. Thank you. I think it's such an interesting way to think about social media as a space for antagonisms, as you just said. Um, I think that's a kind of interesting way of kind of looking at the ways in which it kind of shines a bit of, um, it's a, almost like a magnifying glass on different issues. Um, of course, as you've stated, one of the main controversies of the last Olympic Games is the way in which um, it went ahead in spite of the COVID crisis. Um, what kind of political, economic, or national interest came into play here, would you say? Um, and I'd, I'd be interested to hear perspectives from both um, Professor Mori and Shirakawa-san. Shirakawa-san first, maybe. Sorry, my interpretation is not going too well. So can you repeat the, the question again, please? Yeah, so I'm going to say that to Shirakasa. Yeah. Um, so to paraphrase, it's, it's really about the, the questions about um, the Olympics going ahead in spite or despite of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, we've looked at the kind of the, what, what national interest came into play here, what political interest in, in forging ahead despite the pandemic. あの、さっき言った歴史主席、主義者のような人たちっていうか政治家のそういう人たちにとってえっとこのオリンピックを、まあ政治利用するというかね、え、それが非常にえ、いいタイミングで来て来たんだろうと思っていますなんか so my my understanding is that Olympic um, has come to the very um, um, good opportunity for, particularly for those at the top level of um, the historical revisionist perspective to um, utilize for the political um, reasons. And that's what um, I think uh, was behind. まあ、この、この数年というか、え、ね、ま、いろいろあの、え、ある種、ま、安倍政権が8年ぐらい続いたりした中で、え、戦後の日本の え、軍国国間みたいにね、近づくような、で、そこで国民を一つにするえ、というま、そういう仕組、ま、ね、一つのま、全体国家に向かっていくための一つのえ、デモンストレーション、始まりのデモンストレーションとしてオリンピックが今回あの、扱われているんじゃないかなと思い
uh, situation. You know, so uh, Olympic has um, was convenient tool to um, he, um, Shiroka used the word jumpstart um, back towards the uh, totalitarian um, regime. You know, where you, you could bring the whole nation together for a particular you know, direction. Same as said. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So it's quite a nostalgic. Uh, there's, there's a kind of nostalgia that's being employed or used uh, politically. Would you say? Yeah, but it's a nostalgia, みたいなものが、えっと、利用されたっていうこともあるんでしょうか。白川さん。まあ、ノスタルジックが利用されたとか、まあ、あの、えー、よく言われてるのは今、まあ、日本のほら経済とかそういうものがあのこの20年ぐらいでかなりこう。落ちちゃったわけですよね経済的なものが、えー、でやっぱりもう一度なんか、えー、日本を強い国に回復させたいっていうかそのためにはあの、えー、戦,戦後使われてきたそのあのまあアメリカによって作られたって言われてる民主主義の形態ではダメだみたいなもっとち前の戦前の形に戻っていくことで強い日本が。あのもう一度手に入るんじゃないか。まあ日本安倍が言う日本日本人の誇りを取り戻す日本を取り戻すってやつですよね。<笑> yeah. So the um because of the um this so many years now that、uh, Japanese um financial situation has been um not good and it's sort of um it's no longer um、uh, the growing uh economic um Um, worldwide, you know,、um, kind of strengths that they, you know、uh, we possess. You know, so that、um, a lot of people wanted to regain、uh, the stronger Japan, this perception of、um, the Japan uh, as um, had its integrity before the,、um, the American occupation and at the end of the Second World War. You know, so that was the. Um, notion. So,、uh, not sure about the nostalgia, but that's the intention、uh, behind、um, the you, you, you using of the Olympics as as a、um, launch pad to bring back that、um, world view.、Mm. Thank you, thank you, Chirakawa san. Yeah, I I think there is a nostalgia, of course. Ah,、uh, you know, because the、uh, uh, 1964 Tokyo Olympics was so successful. So, the people still talk about that. And particularly, that was success because it was a symbol of a economic, Japanese economic miracle around that time. And also, that was the announcement of, you know,、uh, properly、uh, Japan returned to the international politics again. And also, that is the moment that,、uh, when the,、uh, the emperor Hirohito、uh, officially、uh, appeared in the public, even in the international event. So, this is a sort of demonstra- demonstrating a trans- transformation from Hirohito emperor as war criminal to Hirohito as a symbol of、uh, you know, peace. So, there are a lot, lot of narrative around the 1964. And、uh, the thing is, the、uh, baby boomers、uh, who are now 70 years old, something really、uh, you know, proud of、uh, 1964 Olympic. So, th- So they try to sort of, uh, uh, kind of、uh, organize something similar to 1964. I think so that is very strong motivation why、uh, the you know, particular government and LDP、uh, you know, promote Olympics so much. So this is one thing. The other thing is、uh, simply you know,、uh, e- you know, uh, economic reason. You know, they, the, Government today is working together, you know, well with、uh, one advertising company called Dentsu. So I think, you know, if they stop、uh, Olympics, they, they might lose the opportunity to get money. So I think that that kind of complicated reason is there. But、uh, mainly, I suppose, you know, the nostalgia to 1964 is very uh, uh, you know, strong motivation. Why you know, they couldn't stop. Thank you, Professor Mori.、Um, 
interesting to see those kind of combined attitudes or how those things come together and it's, it's complex as you said as you mm. pointed out that there's a complexity to it um focusing or returning to the idea of collective memory with relation to the asia pacific war um, and again a question to both of you really um what different or parallel perspectives or attitudes exist in japan so are there kind of what different perspectives exist when it comes to remembering the asia pacific war so i'm, I'm going to interpret to uh, shirakawa san yeah um so uh今のその問題点で例えばその歴史主義主義ということが出てきましたけど日本にそのどういう歴史のえっと見解っていうのがその並行して存在しているんでしょうかま歴史主義主義っていうのをちょっと説明してくださいということだと思いますなかなか難しい
yeah, um, within the context of Korean War. だからまあそのさっきモーリー先生が言われてたようにその60年代まあ70年代のオリンピックとかまあちょうど日本が高度成長期になる時ぐらいまではそのえアメリカが占領した形の後での民主主義的な考え方これがこうえ教育の中とか何かにもえこう来てたのが。その70年代終わったあとぐらいになってきて、まあ、グローバル化した社会とか、まああのー、になってくると、えー、今度はね、あのーえーまあ、韓国とか中国とかいろんなアジアの国々もこう上ってくる中で、えー、もうアメリカ、えー、から押し付けられたその民主主義的なものではない。前の形の方が、えー、いい日本には合ってるんだそうするとそのせ戦争のことについてもあの、えー、日本は負けたんじゃなくて、えー、まあ単純に言えばその、えー、植民地ね、えー、欧米との植民地的な活動の中で、えー、いやいやながら日本っていうのは戦争に巻き込まれたんだって、まあ、ある意味そういう考え方ですよね。じ日本があのしょあの侵略戦争を始めたんじゃなくて、欧米の植民地的な活動の中に日本は巻き込まれて、えー、戦争に至ったので、まあ、悪く言えば自分たちは悪くない。あの第二次大戦については自分たちは悪いことはしてないんだ。まあ、そういう、まあ、考え方の人たちですよね。歴史修正主義。So, the,、um, from the、um, 1950s,、uh, 40s, and 50s, and up to the 60s,、um, after the Second World War, you know, there, there is an atmosphere of democracy、uh, resurging. And,、um, but、um, after the 1970s, you know, the,、um, there's a, because you know, there, there was no sort of clear cut.、Uh, Change of you know,、um, governance and, and also, you know, of course, you know, the、um, emperor he,、um, wasn't, um, yeah,、um, wasn't judged、um, as, as a head of、uh, nations. You know, and so, therefore,、um, from about、um, 1970s, late 1970s, you know, the,、um, the you know, revisionist,、uh, the feeling of the revisionist is that. Uh, Japan was、um, not the aggressor in, in the Second World War, but it was、um, implicated in the war as a、um, part of the、uh, colonization of the West. And you know, so this、um, narrative kind of、um, developed, and, and then basically, you know, we are seeing、uh, the repercussion now. Uh, thank you, Shirakawa san. I think it's interesting to see how that lack of, or at that moment in history, or that period in history where there wasn't a kind of collective reflection、um, upon what had, what had happened in the、um, Asia Pacific War, how that's unfolded over the, the following decades. It's really interesting to hear your perspective on that.、Um, I don't know if you had anything to add to that, Professor Mori.、Um Yes, I think that,、uh, yeah, Shiraka has pointed quite interesting, but if I add something to it,、uh, probably,、uh, yeah, well, particularly in terms of、uh, multi culturalism or,、uh, you know,、uh, sort of racial relations,、uh, I think Japan had a, a really big shift around the Second World War. So, kind of before the Second World War, official language was. You know, Japan was a multicultural、uh, country, multi ethnic countries because, uh, because of you know,、uh, colonies in Asia. You know. uh, so uh, there was a China, Korea, any other、uh, colonies under the Japanese imperial system. So the official language is multi ethnic, multi cultural country is Japan. But of course, after the Second World War, it changed. You know, and now we, most of the people believe that Japan is a mono ethnic country or 
one, you know, mono, mono, mono culture, mono, mono, you know, one nation, one race, one language, country. But this is a sort of very uh, kind of a big myth. Mm. People believe it. Uh, but uh, obviously, this is the only ideology, you know. O obviously, the, even, uh, in, even today, that there are many overseas residents, particularly Korean residents or uh, Chinese residents in Japan. So if you think about the collective memory, there are a lot of collective memories of you know, these kind of people in Japan. But the, the thing is that uh, official language really replaces this sort of, you know, counter collective memories or try to uh, forget about the history. So I think, you know, uh, that the problem is that, you know, uh, yeah, of course, you know, that, that these days the kind of Japanese government try to, uh, in, try to, uh, try to uh, sort of make country as more multicultural or more, you know, uh, uh, diverse, try to invite more diversity in anywhere. But uh, in order to do that, you know, government try to sort of delete the uh, past of multicultural history or collective memory in order to make uh, Japan as new multicultural society. I think the Tokyo Olympic 2020 is one of the moment that that kind of contradiction uh, you know, came out. It's really interesting. So there's this kind of erasure of um, a really important part of Japan's history that um, mm. and a kind of a, a, a attempt at reconstructing that, that memory through events such as the Olympics. Mm. Um, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is related to sort of the uh, argument around the uh, uh, comfort woman issue or, you know, uh, sex slaves uh, during the Second World War. The, the government is really, uh, you know, uh, kind of active to erase the memory in a, of that kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know comfort woman issue, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this issue of censorship um, has been something that we've, our Action UK has been discussing for some time and such an important thing to acknowledge and, and flag up. It's happening here in the UK as well. Um, earlier this year, um, artist Gabriella Hurst created an artwork that asked viewers to remember and critically engage with the bomb tests in Australia. So the UK um, tested the atom bomb um, in Australia in the 1950s. Um, and she wanted us to remember, um, and she, she uses a statement, Britain's identity as a colonial nuclear state. Um, and she created an artwork which was called An English Garden. And it featured benches and flower beds planted with a kind of rose called the Atom Bomb Rose, which was a variety of the rose that was created in 1953, so during the Cold War arms race. The local councillor, uh, conservative councillor, deemed the work offensive in his word. He effectively censored his work because she had a plaque next to the benches in the garden to explain this history. And he said that he was going to cover that with his own historic narrative. So erasing that historic narrative by overlaying a different one. Um, and that he was going to use social media to amplify his story. So the organization who had commissioned the work or partly commissioned the work, decided that it would be misrepresented and they removed the work. So it's complicated because ultimately it was removed by that, um, by the, the party who commissioned it. But um, because of this threat of an individual with a political agenda. So I'm flagging that up because I think these issues of censorship, these issues of rewriting history, of wiping out histories. It's not just an issue in Japan, as we've been talking about and focusing on today. It's happening all over the world in different contexts, and it's happening here in the UK. Um, with this in mind, I'd like to ask another question then. Um, what is the relation, quite a broad question, uh, what is the relationship between commemoration and art, would you say? 
Another question. もう一つ質問です。えっと、コメモレーション、記念するということとアートとの関係性というのはどう,どうなっているんでしょうか、うん、?I think that if Shiraka さん can talk about his artwork, about a sort of a, 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 how can I put memorial for a Korean residents? Uh, which he exhibited、uh, the last, you know, this show. So I think、uh, maybe that is related to the, this question. To yeah, the... So maybe、uh, Alice can、uh, facilitate the、uh, PowerPoint、um, of the、uh, image of the exhibition that、uh, Shiraka san has done.、Yeah. シラカさん、少しこれについて話していただきたいはい。はい。えっと、まあ、これは、いあ今、あれかな。えっと、この、これは、まあ、戦争の、あの、第、えー、太平洋戦争の時の、あの、状態の絵と、まあ、その、戦争の時にですね、日本の社会の中で、えー、使われた、えー、と国威発揚というか、まあ、そういう戦意発揚のためのスローガン、えー、それをあの書いてあります。あのー、えっ、ー、と、まあ。The, the, the, the slogan, the, the, the banners are、um, the, the used.、Um, so if you could just show the banners, Alice. Yeah, so that is basically the.、Um, Yeah, so those ones. Yeah, that was used during the war to、uh, bring、uh, people together to yeah, fight against、um, Americans and、um, yeah, the enemy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. えー、トータルワールドあの、まあ、まあ日本の方でそれをちゃんと理解はしてなかったと思うんだけれどもまあ,あの日本は戦争するにしてもあの物資物量は物はないので最終的には yeah, about,、um, enough、um, material wealth you know, during the war、yeah. so, um... 最終的にはまあ国民国民を洗脳してあのあの So, you know, basically, you needed to brainwash the、uh, people. で、まあ、そこで、あの、国民が、まあ、あの、えー、へ、まあ、全員が兵隊になって頑張るしかない,みたいな。So they basically have no alternative but basically make, you know, every single、um, Japanese nationals to, to fight as a soldier. えっと、まあ、そういうことですよね。まあ、でも、まあ。えー、今の、まあ、さっきオリンピックの話が出たけれども、まあ、現在のオリンピックでも言われてるのは似たようなことを言われてる、日本の中で言われてるわけですよね。And unfortunately, the,、um, even within Japan and the social media, the similar sort of、uh, sentiment has、um, been resurging, you know,、uh, resurfacing. コメモレーションということについてちょっとこの中で、えー、と作品の中で一つあった。If Alice can show the drawing of it, maybe that links to that Jessica's questions a little bit better. Yeah. And the, the first one. Yeah. Ah, so, hi, Sen. はいはい。アートとそれからその、えっ、ー、と、開口する覚えるっていうことですね。それについての関係性。記念,記念日とか、記念することとか。えー、っと、これはね、かだから、まあ、かえー、っと、どういったらいいかな。えー、まあ、長崎なんかに、まあ、平和記念日とかっていうのが、あのー、ね、あったりするんだけど、まあ、あの、えー、と戦争、まあ、敗戦の記念碑というのは
あ,のあまりないどこ、まあ、ほとんどどこの国にもなあまりないですよね。あのえー、日本が敗戦した時は例えば韓国はあの独立したから独立記念碑っていうのはあのそういう意味ではあるんだけど日本の場合敗戦,の敗戦したことを記念するモニュメントっていうのは、まあ、な,いないんですけどでも。Normally when、um, people elect monument you know, which is to celebrate something positive you know, so you don't see many、uh, monument for losing the war.、Um, だからまあ,あの敗戦ということをあの、まあ、記憶するというかそのための,あのモニュメント、まあ、そういうものがあってもいいんじゃないかなと思って、えー、作りこう,いうこういうのを書いてみました。Well, うん、this is a proposal to、uh, commemorate the, the loss of the war.、Um, so that's... Uh, that was the idea behind this drawing. Kaori san,、uh, let, let me show、uh, one、uh, other image of a、uh, uh, circus as exhibition.、Yeah. I have a, a sort of image of a kind of a memorial for a Korean resident. So,、yeah. can I share? Can I use share? Yes, please, yeah. If Alice can facilitate Mori san to share the screen. Uh, how can I? You should, yeah, yes, yeah. This one,、oh. I think maybe Shiraka, if Shiraka san t a l k about the, this particular artwork, I mean, actually, she, he did a performance,、uh, it, it, I mean, in the gallery, but、uh, I think this is also related to commemoration of history. Shiraka san, no, just cross it, Mr. Mato. No, no, Guma no Mori ni, no, Guma ni aru, no, Chow Sen Jin no, Kyo Se Len Ko no, Tui To Hi. ですよね、でこれもこの前あの、えっと、1週間前ですか、1週間前に裁判の裁判が行われて、一応、えてまあ、県側が勝ったので。So there was a, um, the, um, a, um, a result、um, came in Commemorating the、um, forced laborers of Korean、um, laborers during the war. And、um, the context of that、um, law case was that、um, yeah, the local government wanted to remove this、um, plaque because it was inconvenient and,、um, to their narratives. And then、um, uh, uh, Shirakawa san has. Uh, created the artwork to highlight this issue. And then that、um, exhibition then b e e n、um, withdrawn. you know So that was basically the context of the、um, uh, the lawsuits. and But basically, the、uh, local government won. The outcome was basically that、um, they won. えーっとまあ、日,本日本中におそらく今、えー、っと35ぐらいあの、えー、朝鮮人に関するその日がある。Yeah, there are about 35 um, plaques um, all around Japan、uh, commemorating specifically about the, the Korean um, um, laborers and、uh, Korean、um, victims. でえっと、そ,のそれの今、すべてがあの、まあ、日の裏側にこう記述がこう書かれているわけですよね。あの And behind that plaque,、uh, there's a little note being inscribed. で、まあ、その中に、えー、強制連行されたとか、強制労働されたとかという記述があるんですが、それが今全部あの削られてるんです。Yeah. So within that、um, little note,、um, there is a, a phrase s that those people were、um, forced to you know,、uh, work in labor camps. And you know, so those basically、um, phrases are now removed. They basically、uh, scrape it off from the, the、um, plugs. でそれはあのえっと、さっきの歴史修正主義者の人たち
が、まあ、政治的な力も、まあ、今持ってるわけですけど彼らが、えー、全部あの議会にかけて議会の中で、えーまあ、そういう偽りの歴史はあの日本には必要ないこれはう嘘の歴史だからでこう消,す消す言葉を消させてるんですよね。Yeah, so the, the situation basically is that because of those、um, um, historical revisionists are now in power,、um, they basically go through the、uh, judicial process to、um, go through the official process to、um, erase that, to basically、uh, deem those little writing, in,、uh, small writing, as、um, a lie. It's not actually、uh, the actual true history. And, and that then、uh, basically、uh, winning and facilitating the erasure of the history. The Yuitsu, Gunma, no, no, Twitter, he got some Sanju go, Arunaka, the Hajimete, Tekyo, got a Ketsugi, the Kimata, a no, Sakuhi, n a n d e So, the Gumma's one is the out of 35 plaques. The, the first one that was actually officially、uh, physically removed. So, that's the significance of this Gumma、uh, memorial. So, the Gumma is the one that was actually officially physically removed. So, the Gumma is the one that was actually officially physically removed. 日本中にある他の残りの35の偽りの歴史の日を全部撤去できるという、まあ、そういうことなんですね。So from the revisionist、um, perspective,、uh, including 日本会議、uh, if you succeed to removing this Gumma、um, memorial plaque,、um, that would be basically the beginning of removing the rest of the 35. Uh, memorials, you know, so that's quite significant. So, so, so uh, what, what Shiaka san did to this exhibition actually, he、uh, he used a sort of form of the memorial and then try to reconstruct by using yellow cross. So, the ori- originally that was exhibited in the uh, pre- uh, Guma Prefectural Museum. Two or three years ago, but it was censored at that time. So he couldn't show this artwork. And then he recreate, recreated this art, artwork as an you know, ongoing exhibition. Thank you. Yes, and there's、um, some more information on that particular artwork、um, and an interview with Shirakawa san on the Art Action UK website as well, if you would like to read more or look up some、mm-hmm. links to those events,、um, to, this, to the context of that artwork.、Um, thank you.、Um, just final、um, sort of question to sum up、um, is really, I want, I'd like to end on a kind of, I guess, an active,、um, an active note. But thinking about this and thinking about the ways in which histories are being erased or rewritten, what can we learn from this? What can we do、um, as artists or researchers and just as people? What, how can we respond to these issues? Yeah, so, Shirakawa san, it's the final question. I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me 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 から学んで何をアーティストたちはするべきなんでしょうか、まあ、するべきっていうかあの<笑>するべきというか、まあ、一応僕はおそらく裁判は、ねまあ、続いていくし、うん、もう一つのもちょっと僕があのそのもう一つ今言われた何をするべきかっていう問題とちょっとあの違うかもしれないですけど私が今考えてるのはさっきこの日の問題もそうだけども日本の場合そのあ、まあ、メモリーとアートっていう問題もあるけれどももう一つは、えー、やっぱり表現の自由、まあ、あの,の問題が、えー、とこの
90年代以降結局歴史修正主義者の人たちがあの社会の,あの、まあ、上の方に出てきていろいろやっていくことで政治,政治的なことですよねやっていく中で表現の自由があの十,十分にあの行われなくなってきてるということですよね。だからまあ、だから戦前も,もちろん表現の自由日本の中の表現の自由の問題というのは戦前からもちろんあったけれどまた、えー、それが、まあねえー、戦,前戦前のような状態というかあの、えー、表現の自由がなかなかできないだからあのこの朝鮮の追悼碑だけではなくて他のところの部分例えばあのえー、作家は若い作家の人がほら、えーっとうんえー、原発の場所のところに行って映像を撮ったりして、まあ、そういうところの中でねチンポムたちが撮ったりした映像の中で、えー、原,原子力とか放射能とかなんかその叫んでる画像があったりするけれどそういう作品が例えば国際展とかに出たりする時に今は。国際交流基金とか、まあえー、時には外務省とかそういう、ね、ものがこう、えー、出すんじゃないやめてほしいみたいな、まあ、そういう問題が日本では今あの起きてるわけで、まあ、表現の自由についての問題が、えーまあそのできまあ、絡んでるわけですよねそこに、えー、だからそ,それも、えー、考えて。考えるとかね、やっていかなきゃいけないなみたいな。うん、so the,、um, the issues you know, to do with the relationship between the mem-、uh, commemoration and art is one thing, you know, but the, more fundamentally, the issues of freedom of expression、um, is becoming、um, the,、uh, huge issues in Japan. You know,、uh, so for instance, you know,、um, not only、um, the artwork, which is to do with the、um, The history you know, of the、um, Asia Pacific War, you know,、um, but also the,、uh, more recently, the uh, um, Chimpom,、uh, the artist group, you know, has、um, basically、um, made the work in Fukushima、uh, area the,、uh, to do with the、um, nuclear fallout. And you know, so those、um, artists who's actually engaged in a, you know, even current you know, social political issues,、um, when it's not aligned with the、um, current you know,、uh, yeah, revisionist、um, perspective,、um, then、um, they, have a, they would encounter the difficulty of getting funding you know, from art councils and you know, government.、Uh, International, you know,、um, cultural, you know,、uh, exchange fund, you know, that kind of things, you know, so, so that、um, the actual、uh, situation of what's happening here、uh, won't be、um, seen、uh, abroad, you know, so that's becoming a, you know,、um, a big issue. まあね、日本、まあ、日本の恥を<笑>出すんじゃないみたいな。まあ、あの安倍首相が言うみたいに<笑>、あの。日本,日本は誇りを取り戻す。だから、そ,のそ,そういう恥ずかしいことを。Mr. Abe is to bring back the、um, Japanese pride and you know, to, to show any negative side of、uh, history and Japan basically is, is not、um, acceptable. You know, so that's the main、uh, concern.、うんだからそういうことを、まあえーまあ、さっき、まあ、ジェシカさんのからど、作家はどうしていくんだっていうふうに言われたけど、まあ、どうそういう問題があるっていうことを、まあこうえー、なんか作品とかなんかで提示し、まあ、僕らとしては今は提示していく、こういう問題があるよっていうことを、まずは提示していくしかないなと思っています。Yeah, so as an artist, あの the only thing that we can do is to、uh, problematize those issues and to actually show that、uh, through art practice. I think that's the only thing that we can do at the moment. だからまあ何というかあのえっ、ー、とまあ
その歴史修正主義者の人たちっていうか、まあ、ほぼ同じ人が<笑>みんなやってるわけですけど原発とか何かみんなねだ例えばまあ,あの一つは例えばあの水俣の公害水俣で、まあ、公害があったり水俣病があったりしたっていうのは知ってる人は知ってると思うんですけどこの2年ぐらいの間に、まあ、今の政権の方で、えー、水俣病、まあ、公害とかっていうそういう言葉をなくして環境問題そういうようなまあ、まあ、だからね原子力発電所のまあ問題にしてもあの汚染水じゃなくて処理水にするとかなんかそういうまあまあまあある種それ同じ僕はなんか歴史修正主義と同じだと思うんですよそういうことがね日本のあちらこちらで今行われてきててだからあのえー、なんか広島あの原爆の問題なんかとか長崎の原爆の問題なんかもある意味で言うとこう,、えーこうにまあ、なんていうの漂白して消しちゃうみたいなそう,いうそういうようなことを、えー、今の政権は考えてるんで。うん<笑> The big scandal.、Um, but the, that word, Minamata,、um, has been erased you know, and, and then、um, replaced by environmental you know, issues. And also, the, you know, so this kind of changing of the words and censoring the words,、um, and that could become sort of、um, whitewashing effect. And, Uh, that applies to Nagasaki and Hiroshima as well. Thank you, Shirakawa-san.、Um, Professor Mori, did you have any thoughts to add to that? Yeah, well, let me add、uh, just one thing about what artists can do,、uh, particularly to fight against、uh, historical revisionism. Well, traditionally,、uh, art history, or historia,、uh, try to find、uh, something true. Truth to、uh, you know, fight against historical revisionism to show truth. But the, the problem is that now, because, because of the you know, relativism、uh, increasing, you know, it's, it's very difficult to say this is a true or this is a fake or whatever. So I think that there is a sort of limit for historian to show truth. So, then the, probably the artists can approach in different ways. Maybe artists can, doesn't have to show truth, but maybe artists can create、uh, different narratives, different stories, even if it is a fictional, right? So, I think、uh, this is becoming more and more important to fight against、uh, historical revisionists these days. And、uh, so, Uh, these sort of, you know,、uh, visual languages or、uh, images、uh, you know, uh, must be much more powerful than sort of、uh, academic writings to some extent, particularly to circulate、uh, information. So I think, you know,、uh, in that sense, you know, there are a lot of space for artists to do you know, it, and it, under this particular condition of historical revisionist. Mm, thank you. It's so interesting to think that actually fiction can be used, imagination、mm. can be used to challenge、mm. and to think about the world in a different way. And we see that in um, cultural um, uh, phenomena, uh, for example, Afrofuturism or、um, the idea of creating、mm. kind of counter futures, which actually help us look at the past in a really different way. But that's、mm. probably a whole new conversation, but an interesting one that、uh, I'd love to have sometime. Um, thank you so much,、um, Professor Mori and Shirakawa san.、Um, thank you for your insights and for sharing your experiences as artists, as academics.、Um, I'd like to open up the discussion to the room now. So、um, please use the hand symbol, which you can find if, you, if you're not familiar with Zoom at the bottom.、Um, there's a little、um, button that has reactions with a smiley face. If you click on that, you can、uh, choose to raise your hand if you'd like to ask a question, or you can just put your camera on and raise your hand. Alternatively, you can post a question in the chat.
lots to think about there I think everyone's probably processing thinking about the topics that we've covered today While you're thinking about your questions, um, I'd like to flag up uh, an exciting upcoming Art Action UK event. So we're really happy to announce that we have a virtual mentoring and residency project starting from the 5th of September. And it's a creative program which is going to culminate in an exhibition which will be shared online. So do keep an eye out for email updates. If you're not on the email um, mailing list, then please do join the mailing list. Please contact um, Art Action UK with your details. Um, but if you do have any questions, again, feel free to pop them in the chat. If the questions to do with today's topic, which is collective memory, um, the Olympics and the impact that's had on culture. We've talked about censorship. Um, we've talked about commemoration. Those are some of the themes we've talked about today. Is there um, a message in the chat from Janessa? I'm just gonna read this straight away. I hope that's okay, Janessa. Um, Janessa has asked, um, she's thanked, thanked for the, uh, us, thanks everyone for the rich discussion. She said, what, from what I've heard before the Olympics, there were many citizens who wanted to cancel the games. Did this sentiment change after the games? Do you think that, so there's one question is, did, have people changed their minds on their negative feeling towards the game since it happening? And the second question, do you think the games together with the pandemic has changed the political thinking of citizens in Japan, presumably? Any thoughts on either of those? Let's go to the first question so far. Has sentiment changed after the Olympic games, would you say? Yeah, to, to my understanding, not, not much change. I mean, particularly because of the pandemic things. A situation gets worse and worse. So the most of, I don't know, I don't know about the ratio, but uh, the probably still the most of people have a uh, sort of, you know, are not happy with the Olympics because of the pandemics. Shirakawa-san, do do you feel different? Hmm? The Olympics are over and started, the so you Olympic in terms of concept,が始まる前と今とで変わったって感じますか？いや、僕は僕はなんか興味がなんか全然ないので、あの何テレビも見てないし、なんか全然興味興味がないんだけれども、うん。私がガワさんに聞いてたら、you know, I haven't watched the telly and I I I wasn't interested in the games, so I wasn't going. <laughs> まあでもかなり多くの人ね、あの人は今回のオリンピックのあり方にすごく疑問を感じたりした人も多いんじゃないかなと思いますね。パンデミックな状態がある中で強引に行われたことで、まあ様々な問題が起きてたわけだし、その
が反映されると思います。第一、えっ、ー、と、もうすぐ総選挙あるでしょう。So there's going to be a, a general election、yeah, coming up. So,、um, だから、yeah. もう多くの人は、あの、今の政権がオリンピックをやってるのは、もう、当然これ選挙のためです。<笑>選挙のためだっていうのは分かってると思います。<笑> yeah, so a lot of people are aware、um, of the situation, you know, so it might change the situation.、Mm. I suppose it is still quite early days, isn't it?、Um, you know, the, the games only finished last month,、um, and you know, the impact of that is the kind of unfolding phenomena, I imagine.、Um, There's another question. Oh, yes,、uh, that was from Gabor.、Um, you put your hand up earlier, Gabor. Would you like to ask the question or would you like me to read it? Happy to read it.、Um, well, uh, nothing more than、uh, the sentence I wrote. Okay, lovely. So Gabor's written Can you observe generational differences concerning collective memory, say about the war and the artworks which address, address the issue? So, Is there a different attitude amongst different generations regarding collective memory? Shirakawa-san, now the question is, it's a different generation, or is there a difference between generations? えー、教育、この2、30年ぐらい、まあ、だから特にまあこの20年間ぐらい、安倍政権がなって、その前ぐらいからの,この20年ぐらいの教育の成果、えー、教育の中でその、えー、日本の場合、あの近現特に現代あの、まあ戦、戦後の後の歴史、それほとんど授業でやってないですからね。うん教えないしで教でなおかつ教科書の中からは、まあ、その歴史修正主義者が考えてる、えー、人たちが作った教科書の方からはそういう記述は全部ないでそういうような教育をしたいとずっと思ってきた20年間のこの成果が出てんじゃないですか。The problem is that、um, the younger generation has been educated、uh, by this Uh, revisionist um, framework uh, for this past 20 years or so,、um, which basically、um, is already、um, devoid of、um, various different facts and that's erased from the history books. And you know, so the,、uh, the younger generation, in a way,、um, yeah, has, has the problem as much as the older generation. Yeah, if you look at the、uh, research survey, I think that kind of younger people look like more conservative in general. But、uh, to me, the kind of the、uh, problem is more about a b i p o l a r i z a t i o n within the same generation. And some people are becoming, yes, conservative at the same time.、Uh, the other、uh, young people are becoming more global.、Uh, or for instance, they love K pop, Korean music, or travel a lot. And often speak English pretty well. So, but the thing is that there is a sort of a huge gap between the two groups. So, I think that that kind of gap is much more serious than generational gap to me. So, the polarized worldview.、Mm. Mm. That polarization again is perhaps going in hand in hand with social media, perhaps as well.、Mm, um, that's, yeah. But,、mm. um, Thank you.、Um, hey, Yun Park, you have your hand up. So, hi.、Uh, good to see you, Shirakawa san. Good to see you, Professor Mori.、Uh, yeah, it was great to、uh, see some of your works、uh, from the、uh, recent exhibition. And、uh, I just wanted to ask you the first time I saw 
uh, your work after the Guma Memorial that was uh, exhibited but shortly pulled out from the uh, Guma Prefecture Museum. I think at the time the lawsuit was beginning to unfold. Um, and you have just told us that the result just came out a week ago with the end result being that the government won and that means that this uh, memorial will be removed or already has been removed, it seems like. Um, and I was just thinking about you know, our discussion about what can an artist do in this kind of situation? And I wanted to ask you, has your feeling towards this work changed somewhat, you know, uh, as the lawsuit was going on versus now that the result has come up and that this uh, memory will be removed? Did that kind of make you feel, I don't know, anxious, frustrated, disappointed? Or uh, I, I'm just thinking about, I think one of uh, your purposes of showing this work is to kind of raise awareness among people to know about these uh, issues. But as the concrete sort of evidence, shall I say, uh, of those concrete memorials are being uh, rooted, like that, did that kind of change your array of uh, how to show your work, distribute your work, exhibit your work? That's just my question. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> サイバーのあの、あの、今回、えっと、裁判に、え、日を守る会とかな、そっちの方は負けたわけですけど、今、一応上告はすると思うんですよ。え、上告はするんで、で、最高裁判所まで、え、持っていくようになるから、あの、また
do, uh, even though the actual memorial itself you know, uh, may be removed, um, but artwork can remain. わけだけども、元々あそこはあの、え、火薬製造工場が明治時代からあった場所なんですよね。so that particular park um, has been the location for the um, the bomb factory, you know, since Meiji era. あ。だから非常に長い間、だからまあ日本の近代の歴史、まあずっと日清戦争、日露戦争、第一次大戦、それから太平洋戦争、このずっと長い間日本が戦争してきた全ての弾薬をあそこで作ってたんですよね。So that location you know basically um, symbolized all the wars that Japan has been engaged uh, mm -hmm. since opening the country, you know, so um, that is historically very significant um, place. そこに結局戦争中、え、朝鮮の人たちを連れてきて、結局日本の若い男の人たちはみんなほら戦争で、え、取られていって日本にはいないわけですよ。だから労働力として朝鮮から so during the war, um, uh, most of the young uh, male population has been taken as a soldiers, you know, uh, so they didn't have any basically uh, human power. So therefore, the, the Korean um, people are brought in, you know, forcibly as, as a laborer to work in that bomb factory. Mm. Yeah, so if the basically memo uh, memorial is being moved from that particular location, basically, um, even with the physical um, memorial um, can be kept somewhere, you know, basically it loses the symbolic meaning. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for uh, such an important question, Heian. And um, I think bringing it back to that kind of the importance of the location and that kind of sort of grounded knowledge is really important. Sorry, I think I cut in then, um, Professor Mori, were you about to say something? Oh, no. No, I think you're still on silent. Um, maps are perhaps they're wrong. Um, there's an additional comment in the chat um, from Haruka Iharada, the curator of Shirakawa's current exhibition. Um, so thank you, she, uh, um, Haruka has thanked the uh, thanked everybody um, and um, has said, I'm just going to paraphrase actually, um, that the performance of reconstructing um, Shirakawa-san's memorial monument was mentioned earlier and it can be seen in a video. She shared a link. Um, the performance has no sound. Um, and there's another message beneath that. There'll be information about the exhibition in English on the Maruki Art Museum website next week. So some of you may have already looked at that um, prior to attending today and realized that's uh, not yet in English, but um, that will be coming soon. Um, and there's some information there, the artist statement um, in the message there, if you'd like to sort of take time to read that um, rather than me rushing to it now. Thank you for sharing that, Haruka. Are there any other questions from the room today or any other comments from anybody? Again, thank you so much everyone for your participation today. Thank you to everyone in the audience. Um, thank you to Kauri for um, facilitating smooth communication throughout today. Sorry. Wonderful. <laughs> and a thank you of course to Professor Mori and Shirakawa-san um, for your words and insights. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>